Next question. Um, some more strings. So basically there's different representations of strings in Nix. And as you can see here, um, we have um, example zero. And this uses the string substitute. So basically this pattern here, it substitutes the attribute from here into this string. So if we run now, we get an undefined variable x because here it searches for an attribute which is not found in the let scope or in any other scope. So the Nix compiler basically complains about this. Uh, what we can do, and this is something you should do all over the lesson, just comment out the others so that you get uh, a meaningful error for the thing you work on. And then if you worked out this, for example, with the hello world and you run again and you compare this to that. And so, you know, this has been solved successfully and then you just continue to the next one. So this is like in the example before, you can just write like this and we can also um, world and see hello world. This, this looks fine. Uh, and as you can see here, um, I had not only this string, but also this string here. It's not an attribute from, from up here as in the example before. And then the third example, and this is also very interesting. Um, it basically inside this here, it uses the same syntax, but what's different that it uses the single quotes, basically two single quotes. And this, you will encounter this a lot if you work with Nix packages, because um, for Nix OS, this is basically used to um, build dynamic code snippets or configuration files on the fly. And this helps you to uh, get them formatted in a nice way. So if we do the same as above, for example, like this, um, it has the same meaning as the example one above. So now we completed all the exercises and we just continue